Hello everyone! Welcome back to our YouTube channel. So, ang topic natin today is the continuation about the topic of variations. In this video, you will be tackling about the inverse variation. Bago tayo mag-start, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell icon para updated kayo sa mga videos na na-upload ko. This is Sir Chad, your math and and mentor. Let's begin! Next kind of variation is the inverse variation. Inverse variation states that y varies inversely as x or y is inversely proportional to x. Based on the statement, ang sabi, y varies inversely as x. So, inverse na siya, hindi na siya direct. So, ang x natin is nasa denominator side. Okay, for us to have a better understanding, syempre, magkakaroon tayo ng example. y varies inversely as x and y is equal to 20 when x is equal to 8. Find the constant of variation, the equation of the variation, and find y when x is equal to 16. So first, hanapin muna natin yung equation from this statement. So y varies inversely as x. So ito yung ating susundin. First one, pinapahanap yung k. So y is varies inversely with x. So, ang sabi, y is 20, so y is 20, when x is 8, so k over 8. Multiplying both sides by 8, para mawala yung ating denominator dito, therefore k is equal to 20 times 8. So, k is equal to 160. So, ang value ng ating k is 160. Next one. Ano yung ating equation? So, dito tayo mag-start. So, y is equal to k over x. So, by substituting the value of k, y is equal to 160 over x. Pwede ito na yung sagot. Or, 160 or x, y is equal to 160. Nag-cross multiplication lang ako. So, ito yung maaari natin ibigay na equation if ever na tinanong. Next one. Letter C. What is the value of y when x is equal to 16? Napakasimple. Gamitin lang natin yung nakuha nating equation y is equal to 160 over x. y is equal to 160 over 16 which is our x. Therefore, y is equal to 10. So, ito na yung value ng y when x is 16. Kung mapapansin nyo, from y is equal to 20, naging 10 siya. Nung lumiit siya, malaki naman yung value ng ating x. From 8, naging 16. So, kung makikita nyo, inversely proportional si y kay x. Kaya siya tinawag na inverse variation. Wow! Okay, tulad ng ginawa natin sa direct variation, magkakaroon din tayo ng completing the table sa inverse variation. So, ang statement natin, complete the table if y varies inversely as x. So, alam na agad natin na ang gagamitin natin is this given equation. y is equal to k over x since y varies inversely as x. So, sa first question, hanapin si k and si equation. How will we find it? So, number 1, y is 5 when x is 6. Given the equation, y is equal to k, k over x. So, y is 5 is equal to k over x, which is 6. Multiplying both sides by 6, para mawala yung denominator ni k. So, k is equal to 5 times 6, or k is equal to 30. So, the value of k will be 30. So, ano naman natin ang ating equation? So, ang equation natin is y is equal to k over x. Kung papalitan si k, magiging y is equal to 30 over x. Napakadali. Next, 
number 2. The value of x is 4 and the value of k is 36. Hahanapin natin si y. Hahanapin din natin yung equation. So, kung makikita nyo, y is equal to k over x. So, y is equal to k which is 36 and x which is 4. 36 divided by 4 is 9. Therefore, y is equal to 9. Ang ating equation, substitute lang ulit natin dito sa equation na to ang k. Therefore, y is equal to 36 over x since 36 is our k. Dito, napakadali. Makikita nyo na agad ang value ni k. Ang k is 50. O, ba? Nasa taas lang siya. Dito, ang k natin is 24. Hindi na kailangan isolve or hindi na kailangan ng computation. Therefore, x na lang dito sa number 3 and y na lang sa number 4. How will we find the x at number 3? So, ang given natin is y is equal to 50 over x. That is our equation. Then, y is equal to 20. So, by substitution, so, 20 is equal to 50 over x. Multiplying both sides by x. Para wala yung exponent, ah, the denominator, rather. So, 20x is equal to 50. Dividing both sides by 20, x is equal to 5 over 2 or 2.5. Pag fraction, 5 over 2. Pag decimal, 2 over 5. So, sulat na lang natin dito. 5 over 2. Example number 4. So, nahanap si y when x is equal to 12 and the equation is y is equal to 24 over x. By substitution, y is equal to 24 over 12 which is equal to 2. Therefore, our y is 2 when x is 12. Good job! Good job! That's all for today, everyone. That's all about the inverse variation. If you have any questions about the direct variation and joint or combined variation, you can always click the link below. Don't forget to like and share and comment your questions, suggestion, and clarification in the comment section below. Again, this is Sir Chad, your Mathalongin Mentor. Hope to see you in my next videos. Thank you. Goodbye.